quick arrest. After Jessica stated that Meghan had 50 Charlotte images and a phone to sell, the palace contacts a lawyer. She vehemently despises Princess Charlotte. Think of being in danger from a little child. Very pitiful. According to Jessica, she has a history of being envious, vengeful, and sometimes threatening against young females in specifically those she perceives to be more attractive than her. Also, she was twice as envious of Charlotte since she grew up a wealthy princess while Meghan did not, causing her to prey on Charlotte out of envy and small-mindedness. Princess Charlotte's bed was photographed by Meghan's hired photographer. Jessica claims to have all 50 of Charlotte's photographs. Meg secretly took the images. When Charles learned about it, he was furious and ordered that it be taken down right away. Two royal protection officers took her to the airport, where she was photographed as she left the kingdom. She was discovered to have taken photos inside William and Catherine's private houses. Because of this, the actress was promptly expelled from Kensington Palace. Princess Charlotte broke down in tears after putting on the outfit she was supposed to wear. The Duke of Sussex discussed the hotly contested bridesmaids dress choice between Kate, Princess of Wales, and the Duchess of Sussex at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's marriage in his recently published biography Spare. The topic of conversation between the prospective wife and the Duke's sister-in-law was the dress that Charlotte, now seven, would have worn to the ceremony at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. The argument occurred at a very trying moment for Meghan since she was struggling with the revelation that her parent had staged paparazzi photos, was ill, and would no longer be able to attend the wedding. After texting Kate to tell her about the event, Harry saw his then-wife weeping on the floor, according to his book. Harry said that Meghan received a text message from the wife of Prince William in the eagerly awaited biography. The dress on Charlotte is too long, too saggy, and too huge. As she tried it on at home, she sobbed. Harry continued by saying that Kate first appeared reluctant to meet Meghan's mother at Kensington Palace so the dress could be altered. The Duke further asserted that Kate had spoken with her own wedding designer about the outfits, who shared her perspective. Harry went on. Meg questioned Kate about her knowledge of her father's current situation. While Kate acknowledged that she was well aware, the marriage ceremony and the outfits are due in four days. Harry then reported that his wife had messaged Kate, I don't know what else to say, according to Harry. Take Charlotte with AJ if the dress doesn't fit. All day, he has been waiting. The Duke claimed that Kate simply said, fine, in response. Harry said when I got home a little while later, I saw Meghan crying on the floor, frightened to see his now wife in such a state. The then sixth in line to the monarch stated in his letter that he did not view the situation as a tragedy but rather as a brief upheaval exacerbated by the tension brought on by both the impending wedding and the worries concerning Thomas Markle. Insufferable but transient, the Duke continued. No malice was intended by Kate. As Meghan stated during the Sussex family's early 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. The day following their text conversation, Kate visited Nottingham Cottage with a bunch of flowers to express her regrets to Meghan. Harry made the suggestion in reference to the argument between the two royal spouses that the bridesmaids' outfits were not the sole subject of conversation before the royal wedding. Harry further stated that Kate had issues with the way Meghan was organizing her wedding, including the page boy party. In late 2018, rumors of a dispute between Kate and Meghan began to circulate. Yet, at the time, it was said that the Duchess of Sussex was responsible for making the sister-in-law weep.